Wendy has seriously threatened to sell all of the goats because of the conditions that they have to live in. <laughs> so the goats do seem pretty happy in there. Yeah, but it'll be even better once they have the the bark down. A little bit less mud and guck, but it looks really a lot better already. It's a lot of work. Good job. Thank you. Look at these goats. They're running around playing. They're mangy. <laughs> this this pen got way too wet this summer or this winter. And we need to have a better system for controlling things. You think I dug enough out? Yeah. You think the water's gonna flow the right way for the most part? No. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> because I think this is, there's, uh, it's gonna maybe get stuck on some of these long grounds and things like that. Very likely. It's hard to deal with water. It wants to pool where it wants to pool. But I think this will be a little better at least. I've been trying to mitigate the mud problem in our buck enclosure. It's a seasonal problem, but this year, we have seen that it is affecting our goat's health. Originally, this space was intended for just two males, Lightning and Striker, our original breeding bucks. But it's pretty difficult to part with goats, so now we're in a mess because we have all of these other males that were born here on the homestead as well as those three bottle baby goats that are now grown. I've been mucking out in there for weeks, and I'm going to keep at it for another couple days. Wendy has seriously threatened to sell all of the goats because of the conditions that they have to live in. We have both thought about the problem, and we've come up with different solutions. We're going to try hers first, because my idea was probably too expensive. After I remove more of this muck, we're going to lay in a thick layer of bark mulch. Hopefully, water and goat poop will seep down and away from the surface, and we can always add in more bark mulch in spots where we need to. Hello, Oscar. Hello. Hello. My idea involved building a whole series of stair-step decks in here. This small deck right in front of their shelter is at least relatively easy to shovel off when the compacted goat poop layer builds up. To get rid of the muck as fast as I can, I'm going to do a little bit of everything that I can. A lot of it has been composted already. I just layered it in with old bedding from our chicken coop. Some of it I've used in a stump nurse log project that I'll explain in a future video. I'll be forking some of it into roll bins for curbside yard debris removal. And I'll be filling in some low spots out in the ravine. I can't put too much in here because this stuff is very heavy and I still have to be able to roll these things all the way out to the curb.
probably mouse down there or something. Eris isn't very interested in the cedar chips yet. That's good. He's not supposed to bark at the people putting stuff in her truck. We've gone with cedar chips because it's better for the animals. Oops, got some in your feeder. Make me do all the work while you just play with your camera. Well, that's how it should be. <laughs> no. <laughs> Winnie got tired of filling the buckets. She wants to dump them now, so I'm going to go ahead and fill more buckets from the back of the truck. for the camera. It helps that you're taller and have longer arms. I can't reach as far. It's the next day. We got about half done yesterday. Wendy has to work today and I've got a morning appointment, but I'll be at it again later today. I think the goats are happier already to give them a little extra nutrition, we've got a special treat for them. A goat protein pail. <laughs> How do you like it? have to take turns. Patience, goats.
we ended up using six yards of the cedar chips. It looks great now. Hopefully it stays looking this nice. No matter what, this is much better for our goats. Indigo. I know you can do it. <laughs> Come here, Indigo. <clears throat> I'll hold you back a little. <laughs> okay, Indigo. Go for it. Eros. You're being a good dog. Yes. Good dog. So, the goats are looking a little rough after the winter. The boy goats are. And their, their fur just isn't what I want it to be. And I think maybe they have a little bit of ringworm. And so we're going to treat the ringworm, but I also am giving them some extra minerals, I guess you'd call it. It's like an omega fatty oil. It's really greasy and gross. And you just dump it in their food. And so the directions said that you could dump it on top of like beet pulps. So they don't really like beet pulp very much, but I got them some. And I'm just mixing it up with some orchard grass pellets just because they prefer those. So then that gets mixed in a little bit with their regular little bit of grain that they get every day so hopefully this will help them get back to their normal yeah normal weight and normal body and fur and stuff like that Planted. oh my god say tell them what happened tell them what just happened or happened today sometime brian fed my flowers to the goats <laughs> oh <laughs> It's probably DJ. They ate it right out of the hanging basket. And they dug all the dirt out. You bad goat. You better not die from those things. Kind of nice when goat medicine is a goat snack. 